Hello everyone, I'm Mitch Handley from Inventory Hive and I'm just going to do a quick webinar today about the basics of adding your property, adding your tenant and adding a report on your Inventory Hive account. So these are the basics to help you get started using Inventory Hive so you can go out and create your reports. Obviously, before you can go and create your reports, you need to add a property on your account, add a tenant and add a report. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. I'm just going to jump across to my Inventory Hive account here one second. Let me just find it. Here we go. So I'm on my Inventory Hive account here. I've got a number of properties on my account, so ignore those for the time being. So I'm going to show you now how to add a property from scratch. So to do that, once you click on Properties and Reports on your Inventory Hive account, on the left hand side there will be a plus icon so step one is to add a property so hit the plus icon here and it will say add a property so you click there and then you fill in the relevant details here so you can include your own reference number so i'm just going to put example here but if you've got your own internal reference number that you prefer to use then input that in here choose the type of property you would like to set up today on your account so you can choose from a house, apartment, bungalow, townhouse, bedsit or student home. Just for the purpose today, I'm going to choose a house. And then my number one tip is to make sure you choose a property template which best reflects that property. If you choose a blank template, you will literally get a blank report and then you manually have to type everything into your report. But if you choose one of the... Um, off the shelf templates that we provide you when you sign up to image your hive choose the template which best reflects that property so if the property you're setting up now is furnished and in a good condition then choose that template you can choose unfurnished and then you've got a fair condition as well so choose the template which best reflects that property you can also create your own templates in image your hive as well so if you want in more information about that then head over to the support section so for this example, I'm going to choose a furnished house in a good condition because that's the best template which best reflects the property and setting up today. And then you can search the postcode of the property. So if you type in a random postcode, so I'm just going to put um, DE1 um, for AD. I'm not even sure that's a postcode. No, it's not. Let me just find another one. DE236GU. Let's see if that one works. Yeah, that pops up. You can search a postcode, populate the address in, or you can just manually type it out. So I'm just gonna manually type out the address today, and I'm just gonna put one example. Fill in this relevant information. The country where the property is based, and then if you have an exterior photograph of the property, you can also upload that in. So I have a, a, a um, example property photo I'm gonna upload in and in it goes. So that photograph will appear on the front cover of the report. You can add in some extra property information as well, such as it's semi-detached. and any internal property notes as well. So you could say it was professionally cleaned in June 2020. That's just an example. So fill in the relevant information. You click Save and Next. And then this is where you can choose the property rooms which are in that property. So you can say how many bedrooms it has, how many en suites, living rooms, dining rooms, kitchens, any conservatories, etc. So choose the relevant internal rooms and then you've got outside of the property as well. So choose the, the number of rooms available in that property. And then when you click Save and Next, it will list out all of the rooms that are in that property. If there's any rooms you want to delete out, you just hit the bin button here. So, for example, if I accidentally selected the car parking space, you can hit the bin and that will get deleted out from your property. If you want to add in any additional rooms, you can do. So you just click add another room. You can choose from the drop down 
or you can manually type in. So let's say, for example, if this property has an office, I'm going to search office, select it there, hit done, and that will get added in. So that's how to add the rooms in the property. If you want to um, remember your walk around order, so your walk around order is um, the order you want to inspect the rooms when you get to the property, then you can do so by just moving the rooms about just like this. So let's say, for example, I want to inspect the entrance and hallway first, then the living room, then the toilet, etc. So you can move it around in any order you want. Once that's done, you click Save and Next, and then it will ask you if you want to add any utilities for that property. You can choose Not Required, add them later on. So that means when you go and do your reports, you can add in the information later on, or you can add them now. So just for the purpose today, I'm going to add them in now. Read this information below. So it's important to have information such as the location, the serial number, and any other information as well. So you can click Add a new meter. Choose the relevant utility you're setting up today. So you can choose gas, electric, water, and oil. Just for today, I'm going to choose a gas. The meter configuration, so whether it's a standard, dial, or prepaid. Give it a name. The supplier, if you know it, but if you don't know it, then just put not applicable. And then you can manually type in the serial number, just like this. Or if you want to be extra clever, you can upload a photograph of the serial number and the software can scan the, the number. So I've just got this example here. It's going to upload the photograph. The software will scan it and you can select that serial number. In it goes, you can choose a location of where that particular utility is located. The location photograph. You can also add in some additional access notes and utility report notes if you wish. You click save and that utility has been added into that property. If you want to add another one, you just click add a new meter and follow the exact same steps. When you click save and next, that has now been completed. You can link it up to your Fitzroy account if you've got a Fitzroy account as well. And you just hit done and that property has now been set up on your account. So as you can see, one example street has been added on to my account and I'm ready to add in a tenant. If I want to make any changes to that property, all you do, you click on the little cog on the right hand side, you click edit property and you can change the address, the branch, the reference number or the photograph as well. So even though it's been set up, you do have the facility to make any edits to your property as well. So please do bear that in mind. That's all done. So I'm now ready to set up my tenant for that property. So there's two ways to do it. Um, so you can either click set up report just here, or again on the same clock I've just shown you, you can click add tenancy. This is where it will ask you if you want to add in the tenant's details now, later, or not required. If you want to push your inspection reports through the inventory hired paperless process, it's important to add in the tenant's details because that means they'll get copies of their report sent to them via email. So just for today, I'm going to show you how to add in the tenant's details now. Choose the type of tenancy you want to set up. So you've got a single tenancy, a joint, a multiple or HMO. So just for today, I'm going to choose a single tenancy. Again, give it a reference number or an internal reference. The tenancy start date, so just select the date the tenancy is due to start. The management category, if it's a company let or not. So if you tick yes, you can type the company net name in here, but if not, you don't need to fill that in. And you can also add in some extra tenancy information as well. For example, you could state the number of occupants in the property. So once you've filled that in, you'll click save and next. And then this is where you fill in the tenant's details. Please note, um, we don't, sorry, Inventory Hive don't use these details for any marketing purposes at all. All it simply does is that it will um, let the tenant know about information about the reports you have created for them. 
So again, just fill in the tenancy reference, the name. So I'm just going to use myself as the example today. A contact telephone number. So this means when you've done a report for the tenant, it will send them a text message through the paperless process, letting them know about um, a report has been emailed across to them. So if you want more information about this, just click on the question mark here, then it will tell you more information. The email language. So you might have some tenants who um, um, are from other countries who are suited to better languages. So the reports you send to them won't be sent in their um, chosen language. It will always be sent in English, but the emails that are sent to them can be set in, a, in one of these languages set below. And then you can just fill out the, their email. So the tenant's details. So I'm just going to put in my email address in here. So you click save. And now that tenant has been set up for that property. So this is where you can see all the tenants that have been um, set up for that property. If you want to add more tenants to that property, just follow the same process, click add tenancy, fill in the details, and that will get completed. So as you can see from these other examples, I've got some tenants set up off these properties, and it's nicely audit trailed on my Image Hive account. The next thing I'm going to do is show you how to add a report for that tenant. So all you simply do is under the relevant tenant, you click add report, choose the type of reports you want to do. So you could do a standalone inventory, a check-in inventory, a midterm or interim visit, and a checkout report. So just for today, I'm going to choose a check-in inventory. Choose whether you want to start from scratch or recycle any reports or you can choose from a master report. If you want to learn more about this, have a look at our support section. So if you click on support here, you can search in our support articles and um, any information you want about Image Hive. So once you choose that information, you click save and next and your report will be generated. You are now able to log into the Image Hive app on your phone, travel to the property and conduct your inspection report. So you'll remember when we set up a property, we chose a property template. Um, so I'm just going to show you what that looks like as it stands. So with this report, we've not done any work at all. And as you can see here, because of the property template we have chosen, it's automatically filled out your report, um, basically 95%. So everything's filled in. It's added in the relevant items as well but you can still make edits and add in your photographs to this report. So that's pretty much it. So that is the very basics on how to add a property, how to add a tenant, and how to add a report on your Image Hive account. When you log into Image Hive account, um, some people might ask, oh, I can't see everything. So to, to find everything on your account, so you just click on the address, it will drop down with the relevant tenant and the relevant report. So make sure you click on the address and it will pop down accordingly. As I said, if you ever get stuck, just head over to support. So click on support. You can search loads of articles such as if say, how do I add a tenant? It will tell you exactly how to do that, how to add a new tenant to an existing property. There's a short article, a step-by-step -step guide, basically telling you how I've just shown you today. And if you do get stuck, just submit a ticket and we'll get back to you straight away. That's pretty much it. Um, we have attached a nice infographic to this webinar. You can download it from the handout section on the top right hand side. So um, it's called a Get Set Up Guide infographic. So do download that. It's a really simple infographic. It's nice and easy to follow. Um, so yeah. So that pretty much concludes um, this webinar today about the basics on adding your property and tenant and report to your Image Hive account. As mentioned, if you do get stuck, head over to support at propertyreporting.co.uk. And thanks for your time today. If you want to sign up for your Image Hive trial, if you're not using us currently, do sign up for your trial. It's free 30 day trial. There's no credit card details required and you'll get full access to the software for 30 days to create your reports. Yeah, so thanks for your time today. 
and any questions, please do get in touch. Cheers.